All right, let's go ahead and take a look at a, another example here. And I'm going to, um, you know, not do tons of them. I'm just going to try and give you the basics of it, and then hopefully you can practice some. But um, let's go ahead and look if we have a constant in front. Say it ends up being um, I don't know, 3x to the fifth, for instance. And we want to find the antiderivative of that. Well, whenever you have a constant in front, it just goes along for the ride. Okay, it doesn't, uh, you know, essentially we just move that along with it. So the, the answer to this one, we'd still use the power rule because the x to the fifth is in that rule. So the 3 is going to go along for the ride. It's just going to be over there in the answer. And um, x to the fifth, we'd add 1 to the exponent. We divide by that. So it ends up being um, 3x to the sixth over 6, basically. So it's 3 times that plus c. Now you could, of course, simplify that to just um, x to the sixth over 2, okay? Um, when you divide by 3 on the top and bottom, plus c. Okay, and make sure you got your plus c. And you can see that when you do take the derivative of this, that would become 6x to the fifth over 2, which simplifies to 3x to the fifth. So it works out. All right, let's see if we have something like this. Um, <coughs> say something like 3 over x cubed. Well, that right there is not set up for us perfectly to use the uh, power rule, okay, because the x is on the bottom. But we can just go ahead and rewrite that as um, the integral of 3x to the negative 3. And now it is set up to use the power rule, okay? So again, the constant of 3, and whatever the constant is, it just happens to use the same one, will go along for the ride. So we just go ahead and put the 3 there first. To find the antiderivative of that, we use the same rule. We just add 1 to the exponent to make it x to the negative 2. Then we go ahead and we divide by whatever we get for that new exponent, which is negative 2, plus c. You know, you can leave it like that. If you wanted to simplify it, um, you could rewrite it as um, so your negative 3 over 2x squared plus c. That would be fine. Um, yeah, you know, either way, doesn't matter. But again, when you take the derivative of that, it will go back to being 3 over x uh, cubed. All right, let's see here. Let's take a look at a, another example here. Say you had square root of x dx. So in this case right here, um, again, it doesn't look like a power rule right now, but you can just change the square root of x to x to the 1 half. And now it is perfectly in the power rule. Okay, it looks like it's going to work out for us. So we go ahead and add 1 to the exponent. So it's going to end up being x to the 3 halves. And then we divide by that, 3 halves plus c. Now, usually instead of writing it like that, because um, it looks kind of ugly, instead of dividing by 3 halves, that's the same thing as just multiplying by 2 thirds. So I'll just write it like this 2 thirds x to the 3 halves plus c. Okay, so that should work out pretty good right there.